So I've been sent this video a lot over the last few days. Um, people asking my thoughts and my comments on it. And before anyone says, oh, you don't know her situation or, you know, you don't know what she's going through. Well, I do, because I lived it. Um, I'm her ex-husband and um, right now I have full custody of our kids. This is our parent agreement. As you can see, I have all weekdays and weekends, time sharing with the kids all at holiday academic breaks. And for her to get any rights back to the kids, these are the things that she needs to do. And yes, child support, she owes that. It's up to over $21,000. So she's a mother and doesn't pay child support. She was then arrested for check fraud and during that hearing, it turned out that it was found that she stole almost a million dollars from another guy and also she faked cancer in the past these are scans that she would send and post on her page uh before so you know to sum it up you know this person for people that follow her or giving her praise and showing telling her how strong and how you know amazing she's doing uh well she's really not a full-time mom um she barely has her kids uh she goes out all the time um and she doesn't even have a job even. So she uh, just really not someone that other single mom should really be looking towards as for inspiration or anything like that. Uh, there are a lot of you know hardworking single moms out there and a lot of respect to them. All I just wanna say is she just isn't one of them. Um, so hopefully everyone uh, can see this video and know, you know who she really is. This is why you don't believe everything you see on social media. Tears in front of a camera in a well-lit room would always be suspicious. Pretty obvious she was pity baiting when she filled herself crying and posting it on social media. And a lot of people took the bait. She created this soft story of a life for herself through her own terribly irresponsible actions and life choices. A person who is always victimizing him or herself is usually the real wolf. For the court to rule for a man to get full custody of their kids, oh, you must have done something really bad because the court system almost always rules in the mom's favor. So the fact that they didn't says a lot. But my question is, how does she have a kitchen like that and not have a job and owes $21,000 in back child support? Crazy, right? Or maybe it's a family house. Well, the ex-husband did say she's a scammer, so maybe it's not that surprising. All the people who gave money to her now should give money to the father of those kids because you know he's not getting child support from her. Women like her make single moms that actually go through these situations look so bad. Now people have another reason not to believe the real single moms, but I get it. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.